Hey, what's up, guys? It's Leroy Jenkins13. Today, I'm doing something a little bit different, and I'm bringing you a gameplay from the game Pac Man Championship Edition DX. This game is on the Xbox Live Arcade, and it's a whole lot of fun. So, if you guys have 800 Microsoft points to spend, I would definitely uh, suggest picking it up. The game type I'm playing on this is uh, Score Attack, I think, is what it's called, for five minutes on the map Championship 2. I'll kind of try and explain what's going on as the game goes on, so as you'll see it's a little bit different, there's uh, a little line of pellets instead of the whole board being filled up and the ghosts kind of spawn randomly almost, not randomly, but they spawn in certain positions but not like they would in a normal game of Pac-Man, so pretty much the goal is to pick up all the pellets and complete these patterns like I'm doing while uh, picking up these ghosts on the way, so you just want to go right next to the ghost and they'll wake up. So you'll see right here, I grab a power pellet or whatever that thing is called, and I'm uh, just killing all these ghosts right now. And you get a lot of points for doing that, so that's really where you get all your points. Uh, I hear this ghost kind of caught me off guard, so I had to go around. But anyway, uh, we'll get back on the pattern pretty quickly. And as you'll see, you just you keep on weaving in and out, and there's a, pretty much a set way to do each of these. There's one pattern that I hate that you guys uh, will see coming up pretty soon here, but um, you just you want a big uh, tail of ghosts following you, and what you can do if you get in trouble, you don't want to die because what that's going to do is it's going to send all the ghosts back. Um, I'm not sure if it destroys all the ghosts. I think it does, uh, so you don't have all these ghosts to get the points off of. So what you want to do, if you're in trouble, you press R or L, and you'll use a bomb, which will send all the ghosts on the map that are following you back to the starting point, just like that, like I just did. Um, so if you're in trouble, that's what you want to do instead of just sacrificing yourself and dying. You only have, I think, five bombs per life, but uh, it takes a while to run out. Like, uh, there's another use of a bomb, so when you're in trouble like that, make sure you use a bomb. If you saw that, I kind of waited for the ghosts, because the sleeping ghosts don't get picked up in that line until the other ghosts go past them, I guess, is the best way to say it. So, if, if you go past the sleeping ghost, but no ghosts are following you, nothing happens. So, right here, I'm getting a lot of ghosts with this power plant, and then I, I kind of start messing up a little bit, which you'll see in a little. But, right here, I'm, I'm almost dying, but I do manage to get out, and I, right now I only have three more bombs, so going down and down and down, but anyway, this, this pattern is, uh, it's hard when you're at 50 speed, which I am now, so I kind of messed up there, I missed the, both, uh, both groups of girls, and right now I'm playing some Ring Around the Rosie, but Anyway, it's, this game really is about how well you can handle 50 speed, because 50 speed is insane. At the, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the speed, and you increase your speed after playing for a long time, and after getting a power pellet and eating a bunch of ghosts, your speed, your speed will increase, but 50 speed is really hard to handle, and you start messing up a lot, so if you can keep... Uh, like composure at 50 speed and keep doing well, that's really uh, what you want to do for this game. If, if you can do that, it's going to help you out a lot. Uh, so right now I only have two more bombs. I'm waiting for the ghosts down here so they'll come behind me. I kind of forgot that it was this pattern though. This is the one I hate. I can never really figure out a good way to do it, but anyway. Um, See, so yeah, I kind of keep messing up. And when it's this fast, if you take a couple turns really quick, you kind of lose where you are. And it's it's really hard to see. So I just used my last bomb. So now I'm screwed right here. If you if you do this what I'm doing right now, and you go back and forth, sometimes the ghosts will move. Like they'll it really only works if there's one or two ghosts following you, but what happens is if you like, kind of scrape left and right, the ghosts sometimes change direction. See right here I high speed, so I totally just missed uh, that pellet at first, but if you guys will notice, there's a pellet at the bottom, like, middle of the screen, 
and that uh, you want to keep that there until the end so because um, at the end you most likely won't get a power pellet right at the end so you want to use that to kill all the remaining ghosts but, <clears throat> but really this game is a whole lot of fun uh, I definitely suggest picking it up if not at least try the demo uh, you can get on the Xbox Live Arcade yeah, so here I pick up that last pellet, and I start killing all these ghosts. And my final score for this game is 1,096,000, so about 1.1 million. Uh, tomorrow, I think, I'm going to be putting up a video of a pro gameplay. So, stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.